everyone. This is Mike from Windows7Forums.com. About a year ago, I created a thread regarding turning your Windows Media Player into an alarm clock, and I never thought it would be as popular as it became. I knew that some people out there absolutely had to have a problem with their existing alarm clocks, uh, especially after working for certain organizations. But I never thought that it would become as popular as it has. And let's pull up the thread real quick. That would be Windows Media Player, right? And Alarm Clock Using Task Scheduler. I believe that's what it's called, right? Yeah. Okay. So my alarm clock uh, instructions are pretty complicated so I'd like to go ahead and create a video for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about but would like to be able to turn your Windows Media Player into an alarm clock. Now, there's a couple requirements that you need in order for this to work. First obviously you need a speaker system. Secondly you need at least one song that's preferably loud uh, to wake you up uh, since it is an alarm clock or to alert you of some sort of meeting or something. So here we go. Um, the first step in creating the alarm clock is going to start search and typing in task scheduler. Okay. Now when you enter task scheduler you want to go to the task scheduler library and I'll just zoom in on that for you. You wanna, you're going to see a whole bunch of stuff here that is automatically generated by different applications, but you want to create a basic task. And you can call it whatever you want, but it should be descriptive. You want to call it alarm. Alarm, ugh. alarm is fine. Okay. You go to next. You want it to probably occur every day. And yeah, we can have it happen a couple of minutes from now, right? and you want it to reoccur every day. Normally you would put in a time like 7 a.m., 6 a.m., 8, 8, 8 p.m. if you're a night owl. And what you want to do is have the application start a program. And that program is listed in that thread. So you want to go to Windows 7 Forms and search on that. It'll explain to you how to launch a uh, Windows Media Player. But uh, for the sake of expedience here, I'm just going to go ahead and throw it right in. It's the same exact thing that's on the website. It should work for most systems. And if it doesn't, you need to find the location of your Windows Media Player file, uh, the executable file, which shouldn't be too difficult. If you have a problem with that, you should just post it in the forum. Then for additional arguments, you want to put the song. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a wide variety of music here right now, and uh, we'll pick one song. Hopefully, it won't get edited off YouTube for playing it for two seconds in order to demonstrate an alarm clock. But the way the record companies are these days, who knows? The entire account might get closed. Okay, so we'll create this alarm clock. We're finished. And guess all what you need to do? Uh, well, you right click on it if you want to start it right now and test it out. And what you do is right click on alarm under, remember we're in task scheduler now, and you go to run. And what happens is we've got Ben Folds 5, which is one of the most, uh, this is a very slow song. It's not really going to wake you up, is it? But uh, we'll turn it off right now, but what you want to do is make sure that you have it on repeat, okay, whatever song it is, and you have it on maximum volume, um, because this is the purpose of an alarm clock is to alert you, so you want that to always be the case. Now, there was some debate about the properties of the alarm clock, and, and to get into the properties, you right-click on, on your alarm clock entry that you created. You go to Properties. And there's an issue here because you can have the alarm clock run even when you're not logged on. But if you do that, 
uh, you kind of run the risk of having the media player run in the background where you can't even see it on your computer. So you're just going to keep hearing music nonstop. And if you really want the ultimate alarm clock, this is the way to do it. Because sometimes if you have your computer configured a certain way, if your computer turns off at night, if you get logged off after you don't uh, use the computer for a certain amount of time, you're going to want to hit run whether the user is logged on or not and run with the highest privileges. Now when you do this and the alarm clock actually turns on, it's going to be very hard for you to turn it off. You're going to have to go into task scheduler or I'm sorry, task manager. I don't know why you call, just called it task scheduler. I'm getting a little confused myself here. Uh, where is task manager? I thought I just launched it. Here it is. Okay, so you want to go to Task Manager, you're going to look for wmplayer.exe. Now, obviously, it's not here now, but if we start the alarm clock, you wouldn't even see the alarm clock. You'll see it in alphabetical order down here. And what you'll do is hit End Process, and that'll kill it, okay? So that's how you deal with that situation. But that's really if you need this reliability of this alarm clock nonstop. But I just wanted to give people an overview of how to set up the alarm clock, a pretty basic way. If you want to discuss the details of having it run in the background or not, by all means, <clears throat> just go to windows7forums.com and you can discuss it there. But I did want to give people an opportunity to discuss the uh, the, the Windows Media Player alarm clock, understand how it works, and possibly give a, a wider audience the uh, the chance to set up their own Windows Media Player alarm clock. I was kind of upset with uh, Windows because I was like, well, you know, it has all these other features, but it doesn't have an alarm clock where I can just plug in an MP3. Unfortunately, it doesn't yet, and uh, this is one workaround that people have figured out. You know, there's a lot of commercial alarm clocks you can buy out there. This will save you about twenty or thirty dollars for some software that you know you really don't need necessarily so if you have a really great sound system uh, this is the best alarm clock you can possibly set up so uh, I thought I'd give you guys um, some info on this uh, put in a video seeing it's been a year later we've gotten about 15 19,000 uh, views on this one and quite a few responses so want to just uh, try to help out in any way I can with this uh, alarm clock business. So hopefully you enjoy the alarm clock. Visit us at windows7forums.com. Thanks a lot for visiting the website. Take care.